Shri Vedanta Desikan Swami Desika, Swami Vedanta Desika, Thupal Nigaman the Desikan (1268–1369) was a Sri Vaishnava guru, philosopher, and one of the most brilliant stalwarts of Sri Vaishnavism in the post-Ramanuja period. He was a poet, devotee, philosopher, and master teacher, Desikan. He was the disciple of Kadambi Apular, also known as Athreya Ramanujacharya, who himself was of a master disciple lineage that began with Ramanuja. Swami Vedanta Desika is considered to be avatar incarnation of the divine bell of Venkateswara of Tirumalai by the Vadakalai sect of Sri Vaishnavite. Vedanta Desika belongs to Vishwamitra Gatra. <laughs> Early life Desika was born in the year 1268 CE, to a pious couple named Ananta Suri and Totaramba, who named him Venkatanatha. When he was five, his maternal uncle, Kadambi Apular took him to attend a spiritual discourse of Nadador Amal, a revered Sri Vaishnava scholar of that time. As soon as Amal saw the divine radiance of the child, he stopped his discourse, and hugged Venkatanatha affectionately. When Amal told the audience that he had forgotten where he had stopped his discourse, it was Venkatanatha who reminded him immediately, to the astonishment of the assembled scholars. Deeply impressed, Amal blessed him and predicted that Venkatanatha would become the main torch bearer for Sri Vaishnavism. When Desika turned seven, Kadambi Apular accepted Venkatanatha as his disciple, and taught him arts, sciences and scriptures. By the age of twenty, Desika became famous for his mastery over poetry, logic, linguistics, science, Vedanta, debate, and allied arts. Even though Desika was multifaceted and famous, he lived a humble and simple life with the support of his wife, Tirumangai. He undertook a vow called Yushavriti, whereby he depended wholly on the Supreme Lord for his household needs by accepting grains and vegetables donated by disciples voluntarily, without actively seeking it. Desika stayed in several cities and towns through his life such as Thiruvahindrapuram, Kanchipuram, Sarangam, Sathyagala and Melkote. He also travelled widely all over India on foot. <laughs> <laughs> Literary works At each place, he composed many different works in languages such as Tamil, Sanskrit, Prakrit and Manapravala a mixture of Sanskrit and Tamil that revealed his ingenuity, creativity, logic, linguistic expertise, devotional fervor and erudite scholarship. He composed over hundred works in the following genre. 28 devotional poems in Sanskrit such as Hayagriva Stotram, Kamasika Ashthakam and Gopala Vimshati, 24 devotional poems and treatises in Tamil such as Jitter the Sangraham and Karama Sloka Cherku 11 philosophical treatises such as Shatta Dushani, Mimamsa Paduka and Tattva Mukta Kalapam 10 commentaries on the works of previous Acharyas such as Stotra Ratna Bhashya, Chattis Slaki Bhashya and Tatparya Chandrika 5 narrative poems such as his magnum opus, the Paduka Sahasram, and the epic poem called Yadavabudaya which rivals the decorative poetry of Mahakavi Kalidasa's works, and the Hamsa Sandisha 32 esoteric texts revealing the hidden meanings of Prapati Marga such as Srimad Rahasya Treya Saram, Paramapada Sapanam, Amrita Ranjani and Amrita Svadini 1 drama named Sankalpa Suryodayam 13 works on arts and sciences such as Bhugola Nirnayam and Sulpartha Saram 4 works that codified religious rites and practices such as Sri Vaishnava Dinasari and Bhagavad Aradhana Vidhi Appaya Dikshitar, the great medieval scholar appreciated Desika by composing a verse in Sanskrit Tam Vachintyas Sarvatra Bhava Santi Paid Pada Kavi Tarkika Simasya Kavyeshu Laliteshvapi even in the simple and soft compositions of this lion of poetry and lion of logic, there is poetic excellence evident at every step he took, and indeed in every word he wrote. Desika composed his poems in various poetic meters. Vedic literature is written in the form of hymns set rhythmically to different meters, called chandas. Each meter is governed by the number of syllables specific to it. Poets are expected to conform to these norms in their compositions. Swami Desikan has employed 22 meters in the 862 verses he composed on presiding deities of various temples in India. The following are some of the compositions of Vedanta Desika that provide a glimpse of his mastery over poetry, logic, grammar and philosophy. 
Hyagriva Stotram, a hymn on Lord Hyagriva, the Lord of Learning, who bestows real knowledge to the reciter, banishing the darkness of ignorance from within him. Abhithastavam, a prayer to Lord Ranganatha for relief from different types of fear, ultimately seeking and being bestowed refuge at the lotus feet of the Lord. Akya the Satakam, hundred verses in praise of the Lord of Lords Devanatha, in which Desika expresses his passionate love in the form of a bride. Bhagavat Dhyana Sapanam, twelve stanzas that describe the steps for meditating upon the Lord of Sarangam, Ranganathaswami. Dasavatara Stotram, describes the ten important incarnations of the Lord to protect the world and uphold the principles of Dharma or righteousness. Daya Satakam, hundred verses eulogizing the mercy or Daya of the Lord of Tiryamala. The work is divided into ten decads, each portraying different qualities of the personified mother, Dayadevi. It commences with the short Anushtab meter. Each successive decad employs a more complex meter, till it culminates in decorative poetry that is a sheer delight to hear. Shri Suti, a prayer to Shridavi, the goddess of fortune that is said to have been composed when a bachelor was sent to Desika, seeking financial help for his marriage. Since Desika himself lived a life of voluntary poverty, he took him to the temple of the goddess and sang Shri Stuti. This culminated in a shower of gold coins, solving the financial problems of the young bachelor. Sudarshanisthaka, eight verses set in the rare Dhritakandas, meter praising the holy discuss weapon of Lord Vishnu, wielded by the Lord to protect the virtuous. Kamasikasthaka, is prayer of eight verses to Lord Narasimha who assumed a man-lion form to slay the demon Hiranyakashpa, and protect his devotee, Prahlada. Nyasa Sutras, are texts composed by Desika which extract the essence of the Sharanagati doctrine of self-surrender. These are the Nyasa Dasakam, Nyasa Vimsathi and Nyasa Tilakam. Vairagya Panchakam, five verses that describe the importance of renunciation or vairagya. The word dana or wealth, occurs eleven times, each with a different contextual meaning. Hamsa Sandisha, is a lyric poem of 110 verses, reminiscent of Kalidasa's Megaduta. It describes Lord Rama sending a message via a swan to his wife Sita, who was abducted by the demon king Ravana. Yadavabudaya, is an epic poem of 24 cantos describing the destiny of the Yadava kings, the dynasty in which Lord Krishna appeared. It is on par with the Kalidasa's work called Raghuvamsa, which describes the dynasty of the Ragu kings, in which Lord Rama appeared. Paduka Sahasram, composed of a thousand and eight verses spread over thirty-two divisions called Padatas, on the holy sandals of the Lord Ranganatha. Desika was challenged by another scholar to compose one thousand verses in a night, and he completed this work in three hours. Verses in one section form pictorial patterns with the arrangements of the letters used. Tamil works, Swami Desikan's works in Tamil are numerous, out of which two need special mention, Paramathabangam, where he describes and refutes fifteen schools of philosophy, and Aharanayamam where he describes the correct types food to be consumed by a Vaishnava. Titles and recognition Sri Vaishnava books record how Goddess Lakshmi, known as Ranganayaki in the holy town of Sri Rangam, personally conferred on him the title of Sarva Tantra Svatantra or Master of All Arts and Crafts. It is also believed that Lord Rangantha who is the presiding deity of Sri Rangam, awarded the title of Vedanta Desika, meaning, the supreme teacher of the conclusion of all knowledge. This was done because the Lord was immensely pleased when Desika debated with differing scholars, and established the supremacy of the path of loving surrender or prapati marga. He received other titles such as Kavitarkika Kesari and Kavitarkika Simam, the lion amongst poets, and Ramanuja Daya Patram, the recipient of Ramanuja's causeless mercy, given in a laudatory verse composed by the famous Brahma Tantra Svatantra Swami. Anecdotes from Desika's life Several anecdotes and stories of Desika's life illustrate various aspects of his character, his unflinching faith in Prapati Marga as revealed by Srimad Ramanuja, his scholarly sophistication, his mastery over scores of arts and sciences, his immeasurable humility, and his unparalleled spirit of detachment and renunciation. Swami Desika chanted the Garuda mantra given to him by his guru, Apular, at a place called Thiruvahindrapuram. Sri Vaishnavas believe that Garuda appeared before Desika and awarded him a sacred mantra in praise of Lord Hayagriva, who is the abode of all knowledge. 
Pleased with his devotion, Lord Hayagriva appeared before Desika, and blessed him with the nectar flowing from his mouth. It is believed that the Supreme Lord resided on the tip of Desika's tongue, and all his writings and works are therefore specially blessed by the Lord. In the year 1327, Sarangam city was invaded by Malik Kafir, the general of Aladdin Kilji, who wanted to loot the temple and destroy its deities. Desika hid the main deity of the temple behind a newly built wall, and placed a duplicate deity in the front. The smaller festival deity was smuggled out by Pillai Lokacharayar and his men, and carried to Tirupati, where it was worshipped secretly for many years. Back in Sri Rangam, Desika wanted to protect rare manuscripts like the Sruti Prakasha, a commentary on the Sri Bhashya of Ramanuja. Desika and the sons of the author of Sruta Prakasha hid amongst the dead bodies of thousands of Sri Vaishnavas killed by the marauding invaders. They escaped with the rare manuscripts to Karnataka. Twelve years later, General Gopana of the Vijayanagara Empire, defeated the invaders and restored the city of Sri Rangam to its previous glory. Swami Desikan came back to Sri Rangam, and established the rituals and ceremonies for worship in the temple, which are still in vogue today. In particular, he established the chanting of the Tamil compositions called the Divya Prabandams, and installed deities of the twelve Alwar saints for worship in the temple. A few admirers of Desika, feeling sympathy for Desika's voluntary poverty and abstinence, decided to mix gold coins along with the rice that went to his house as alms. Desika handed the alms to his wife, who promptly showed him the coins. Desika informed her that they were worms that had got mixed with the rice, and separated them using a blade of grass, and threw them out without touching them. A few envious scholars wanted to insult Desika. They strung a few shoes just outside his door. When Desika came out of his house the next day, the shoes hit his head. The watching scholars felt that Desika would become angry at being insulted. Instead, Desika exclaimed in great joy, Oh, what good fortune do I have that the sandals of the great devotees of the Lord have blessed me by touching my head? Incidents from Desika's life teach us how he followed what he preached, and was totally surrendered to the lotus feet of the Lord in a mood of utmost humility and detachment. <laughs> Desika's expertise in sciences, technology and the arts Vedanta Desika was known as Sarva Tantra Svatantra or a master of science, philosophy, arts and crafts. His knowledge in these fields were frequently put to test by those who could not comprehend how a single mind could be so competent in so many diverse fields of knowledge. A few episodes from Desika's life will illustrate this. Topic. Masonry A mason challenged Vedanta Desika to construct a well by using bricks with uneven dimensions. The Shilpa Sastra, an ancient treatise on arts and crafts from India says that bricks which are uniform in size, have square corners, have a specific size, and are red in color are the best for construction. Even though the bricks given to him did not fulfill these requirements, Desika used his extraordinary acumen to arrange these bricks in a unique sequence and plastered them to form the circular periphery of the well, which can still be seen in Tiruvahindrapuram. Sculpture Once a sculptor asked Desika to make an image out of panchaloha a mixture of five metals, copper, tin, lead, silver and zinc on a condition that the image had to exactly fit on the base provided by him. Desika not only sculpted an immaculate image but also pointed out the defects in the base structure provided by the professional sculptor. Topic. Food science The Vedic scriptures categorize food into three, sattva, rajasa and tamasa. The sattva food promotes serene mind and long life whereas the rajasa and tamasa foods promote anxiety and laziness respectively. Taking cues from the Vedic scriptures, Vedanta Desika has provided a detailed catalogue of food which should be consumed to maintain a healthy mind and a disease-free life. Topic. Behavioral science. Vedanta Desika wrote an allegorical drama called Sankalpa Suradayam which beautifully portrays the different aspects of human character and their interplay which can lead a man towards a higher goal, salvation moksha, or to a lower goal, the infinite loop of birth and death. Here Sankalpa is the divine will of the compassionate God to protect humans by granting them salvation and Suryodaya is the sunrise that dispels the inner darkness of man. 
The main character in this play is man with two forces acting on him, I divine and e demoniac. The divine forces aspire to attain salvation whereas the demoniac pull him into the unending cycle of birth and death. Vedanta Desika, the mighty genius in poetry and drama, personifies these forces into kings and queens who in turn seem to be assisted by their own armies the human qualities that drive these forces. Desika, with his subtle wit and deep insight, portrays how these characters debate between the good and the evil propensities as he goes on to establish the divine destiny of man through them. Mathematics <laughs> 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 It was in early 18th century that the great mathematician, Leonard Euler investigated the knight's tour problem where the knight had to tour the entire chess board without any repetition. But, who would have imagined that this was not just solved by Vedanta Desika, but was woven with intricate poetry and philosophy back in 13th century. In the 30th chapter of his composition, the Paduka Sahasram, Vedanta Desika had used several types of poetic imagery. Chaturanga Taranga Bandham was one such imagery through which the Knight's Tour problem had already been solved elegantly, 500 years before Euler. Desika showed his knowledge of the arts and sciences through other works Sulpartha Saram, a guide on sculpting, and Bugola Nirnayam, a research text on the formation of the earth. <laughs> Salutation In Sri Vaishnavism, Athanian is a laudatory dedication in verse composed about an acharya by another acharya who is the subject's pupil and someone whom the subject greatly admired. The Thanian of Desika is Ramanuja Daya Patram J. Tilda Nana Vairagya Bhushanam Srimad Venkata Natharyam Vand Vedantadeshikam This Thanian was composed by Brahmatantraswatantra Gr of Parakala Mutt on the day of Star of Hastham, the star of Varadaraha Purumal of Kanchipuram in the Tamil month of Avani. It is recited before starting Divya Prabandham, the works of Alwars, by Vadakalayars. It translates as I salute the great Venkata Natha also called Vedanta Acharya and lion among poets and logicians and who was well adorned by both knowledge and discretion and who well deserved the grace of Athreya Ramanuyar who also had the same name. <laughs> Vazi Thiruhanam Vazi Thiruhanam is a set of salutary verses chanted in temples to mark the closure of the day's Divya Prabandha chanting. They are intended to ensure that these temples and the practices as established by the Acharyas and Desikans will be followed forever. Vazi Thiruhanam is a set of salutary verses that will be chanted in the temples at the end, marking the closure of the day's Divya Prabandha chanting. The salutary verses are sung in the temples to ensure that these temples and the practices as established by the Acharyas and Sri Ramanuja would be followed forever. Swami Desikan's Vazi Thiruhanam is being chanted in most of the Vadakalai Divya Desam all over India. The Vazi Thiruhanam with the English transliteration is as following Vanya Para Samayam Matra Vanhan Vazia, Manu Pugas Budhoran Manamuhapan Vazia. Kanja Tirumanga Yugaka Vanhan Vazia Kalianarai Kudi Kanda Karudhudayan Vazia Senjal Tamil Maregal Dalindu Uriyapan Vazia Tirumalai Maltharamanaye Saraka Vanhan Vazia Thanja Parakadiye Thantharulvan Vazia Then Tamil Thupul Thiravankadevan Vazia Nanalamam Than Vala, Nan Maregal Tham Vala Managaral Maran Mare Vaza Gariyarjal Seniyani Esar Thupul Vedan the Desikane Inam Oru Nutrandaram. Vaziyani Thupul Veram Vedathasiriyan Vaziyavan Padara Vinda Malargal Vaziyavan Kodila Thal Malarai Kondadi Kondarukam Thithala Nalar Thural. The meaning of the Tamil verses are as following May your grace live long, for you have changed many unrighteous paths to the righteous path. May your grace live long, for you have lived a life as pleasing to Sri Ramanujacharya. May your grace live long, for you have given joy for great men with your service. May your grace live long, for you have been an embodiment of the words of Tirumanga e Alwar. May your grace live long, for you have presented the Tamil Vedas the Divya Prabhandams very clearly. May your grace live long, for you have proved your incarnation of being the divine bell of the Lord of Seven Hills. May your grace live long, for you are blessing us with the path of salvation. 
May your grace live long, for you are the Lord of Seven Hills whom came to elaborate the Tamil verses. May our Swami Desikan live for one more century, for the well-being of the worlds the earth, the worlds above earth, the worlds below earth and the eternal world, for the well-being of Vedas, for the sacred text of Namalvars, Thiruvamazi to present glorious in sacred Sri Rangam, O Swami Vedanta Desika, the dusts from your holy feet are being worn by the great Gyanis to get betterment in their spiritual life, may you live one more century for our sake. May your grace live long, the grace of Swami Desikan who was born in Thupul, who has no equivalent in knowledge, who is our greatest philosopher, long live his lotus feet. Long live the sacred men who are divine and pious always meditating and celebrating the grace of this Acharya and who are staying away from all sorts of evil deeds and who are always surrounded with the good and sacred deeds References Further reading Narasimhakari, M., Akademi, Sahitya Sri Vedanta Desika. Makers of Indian Literature. Sahitya Akademi. ISBN 978-81-260-1890-1. External links Vedanta Desika. Internet Encyclopedia of Philosophy.